all. Councilman Pulley, do I see you? Yes, I'm here, Madam Chair. Thank you. Uh, Councilmember Johnston, I see you. Councilman Nash, I see you. Councilmember Roberts, I see you. Councilman Rosenberg, thank you. Uh, Councilman Swope, uh, are you here? I do not see Councilman Swope. Councilman Taylor. Okay, I do not see Councilman Taylor. Uh, Council Member Vercher. All righty, I am here. Council Member Porterfield. I'm present. Thank you. All right, uh, before we get started, we'll start with the uh, motion to for electronic meetings. And I'll read the caption pursuant to Governor's Lee, Governor Lee's executive order number 16 regarding electronic meetings as extended by executive orders number 34 and 51. I make a motion that this committee meeting agenda constitutes essential business of the Metropolitan Council and that meeting electronically is necessary to protect the health, safety and welfare, welfare of Tennesseans in light of the COVID-19 outbreak. Can I get a motion? Oh, I'm so moved. Second. second. Thank you. Uh, uh, are those in, anybody opposed to this? If you're opposed, please raise your electronic hand. Wonderful, everyone's in favor. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to announce that uh, I'm delighted Council Member Rosenberg has accepted uh, vice chair of this committee. He'll be serving as vice chair and I appreciate his service in that today. And also I'd like to give a great thanks to uh, gratitude to Councilman Pulley, our outgoing chair who has been very helpful uh, during this transition. So, all right, we'll get started with a resolution RS 2020-505 by Toons, Gamble and Welch. Uh, accept an, accepts an existence to firefighters grant from the United States Department of Homeland Security to the Metro National Fire Department to provide funds for the purchase of personal protective equipment and related supplies to prevent, prepare for, and respond to the coronavirus. Can I get a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Thank you. All right, is the sponsor here, is there any discussion from the sponsor or anything about this bill or resolution? I'm not sure if she's here, I'm here. <laughs> uh, is there any other discussion from any committee members? All right, all those uh, in favor or all those opposed, please raise your electronic hand if you're opposed to this. I don't see any hands for discussion. I don't see any hands opposed. All right. Motion carries. Five, six, four, zero against. All right. Next resolution RS 2020 506, Tunes and Gamble approves a contract between the Metropolitan Government and Justice Tracks to provide maintenance and support for software utilized by the Metro Nashville Police Department. Can I get a motion? So moved. Second. Thank you. Uh, is there any discussion from the sponsor or anyone else on the committee? All right, I don't see any hands. I think I see any hands. Oh, my computer is moving slow, all right. Okay, uh, anyone opposed to this bill, please raise your electronic hand or this resolution. Great. All in favor, none opposed. Six in favor, zero against. Bills on second reading, BL 2020-401 by Mendez, Toombs, and others. Authorizes the approval of subpoenas issued on behalf of the Metro Community Oversight Board pursuant to Tennessee Code Annotated by resolution of the Metro Council. I, can I get a motion? So moved. Second. Second. 
Thank you. There is a letter to approve and the sponsor is here. Uh, is there any discussion? Madam Chairman, this is Councilman Dash. I, I just wanna say, I, I, I've noticed in some of the uh, emails about this that there is a misunderstanding. The um, COB has been given already authority to issue subpoenas. This bill simply uh, helps the process of us approving those. The state requires that it be approved by the local body. So instead of having to go through three readings on a bill, we can now do it with one reading on a resolution. Just want to make sure people were aware of, of what we were doing. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for that comment. Are there any other discussion about this? Uh, there is a letter to approve. Uh, I don't see any other hands for discussion. Oh, I do see uh, Councilman Pulley. I probably should just lower my hand now because I think Councilman Nash uh, made the point uh, that uh, I was gonna basically ask Mr. Cooper to confirm, uh, but Councilman Nash is correct. Uh, it looks to me, and to clarify, all this bill does is uh, reduces the necessity for an Okay, we lost Councilman Pulley uh, there. I think he was uh, reiterating Councilman Nash's point. Uh, so if there are no other hands, uh, we, will, we will move on forward for a vote. Is, if anyone is opposed to uh, BL 2024-01, please raise your electronic hand. And I'm gonna excuse Councilman Pulleys because, oh, there you are. You hear me back? Uh, yes, we hear you now. Okay, I, I, you got it. You heard the, the same thing. I just wanted the clarification from Mr. Cooper that uh, all just, just as a matter of formality, that's my understanding of this bill is it uh, reduces the need for an ordinance uh, and switches that to a resolution for subpoenas. Great, thank you. All right, if you would lower your electronic hand, we'll go on. If there are no other, uh, if no one else would like to speak on this uh, bill, we'll go on and take a vote. If you are against BL 2024-01, please raise your electronic hand. I do not see any hands. Uh, therefore, we uh, this uh, bill passes, six in favor, zero against. Next bill, BL 2020 by Parker Toons and others, amends the Metro Code of Laws relative to sidewalk cafes and chapter 7.08 of the Metropolitan Code relative to retail sales and storage of beer. Uh, let's, may I have a motion so we can move on this? So move. All right, thank you. Councilman Parker is here. Uh, would you like to speak on your bill? Uh, uh, yes, thank you, Chair. I would like to speak on it. Um, so I've I've got a substitute. It's on page twenty-three oh, yes, of yes. our packet. Okay. And um, if if any of the, um, I'm happy to talk about the bill as is, or if we want to go ahead and move the substitute, uh, that might be more appropriate for discussion. Yes, yes you are correct. Yes. Yes. Let's, uh, take Second. Thank you. All right, we're ready for the substitute discussion. Thank you all. Um, so what this bill does, um, it does two things. And this is a result of conversations I had with some small business owners in East Nashville, kind of trying to weather this crazy economic climate. Um, and, and the first thing this bill does is it expands the sidewalk cafe permit program, which is something that we've had in the in the DTC in the downtown area for for a long time, and um, it's been utilized there. To um, but this would this would allow the sidewalk cafe permits to be issued countywide. Um, that's the that's the first thing this bill does. 
The second thing it does is it allows um, the substitute adds provisions to allow small businesses to utilize private parking areas. So the the sidewalk cafe stuff takes place in the public right of way. So that's managed by public works. And then the second piece that we've added with the substitute is um, allowing utilization of private parking areas to expand outdoor seating where things can be safer and more spread out to kind of help help some of our small businesses be able to up their capacity even under these health orders in a safe way. Um, that's what this bill's aiming to do. I will say that I've been working with the administration um, and it's it's possible that there will be um, a um, substitute bill that we come up with um, in coordination with the administration. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to suspend the rules and apply that on third reading. Um, the administration has been working really closely with um, affected departments um, to kind of make sure that this is something that will work smoothly and not be burdensome to any departments. Um, so uh, I'm going to ask Director Cooper on the floor if it's possible to um, re refer that potential substitute to um, the relevant committees as well. Um, so that's my intention. Um, and uh, I, I would ask for the committee's approval on this for second reading tonight. Okay. Uh, I see a hand. Councilman Nash, do you have a comment on that? A uh, comment and question. Certainly, I support this. Uh, our hospitality industry all over town is obviously struggling with the COVID uh, restrictions. Um, and I personally like eating al fresco. It's a, it's, a, it's a good thing. The um, uh, Councilman Parker, could you uh, kind of give the short uh, walkthrough of how uh, one of our restaurants can take advantage of, of this or apply? So the, as this bill is written, um, they would just apply for a sidewalk cafe permit. Um, additionally, I, I believe that as this as the substitute stands, you could just go put tables in your parking spots. If you if you're operating under reduced capacity due to a health order, you could simply just you wouldn't have to permit at anything. You could just simply start utilizing your private parking for outdoor seating. Not in your ADA spaces or space. You have to keep those um, accessible. And, um, so you either you would either start utilizing your parking for seating, or you would apply for the sidewalk cafe permit program. And one of the things that I think the administration is working on is kind of messaging for our businesses about how they can utilize these programs to get them. Uh, so I'm, I'm hoping again that that on the administration side, we have a little bit of support there because when I started talking to departments, I realized there was this sort of parallel in the administration from the administration and some other departments as well. And uh, I think that a few more things will hopefully be ironed out in that potential second substitute that I'm hoping we can apply on the reading. Councilman Nash, do you have a follow-up to that? No, well, ma'am, thank you. Uh, just for the public viewing audience, uh, does this bill have a, uh, I believe it has a sunset uh, of, of January 2021. Does the substitute have the same? The substitute has the same sun sunsets, yes. Okay. Okay, great. All right. Uh, any other questions, comments? I don't see any more hands. All right, without further ado, uh, we'll, we'll vote on the substitute, uh, putting the substitute on the bill. If you are against the substitute, please raise your electronic hand. All right, I see no hands. Uh, so we're, uh, substitute passes, 64, zero against. And now uh, let's go back to the bill. Um, I guess, do we need another motion to go back to the bill? Move the uh, ordinance as a, a, a substitute. All right, thank you. And uh, second. 
All right. Uh, any other discussion on the bill as substituted? I hear none. I see none. Anyone opposed? Please raise your electronic hand. We'll take the vote on the bill as substituted. Bill 2020-403 as substituted. All right, I see no electronic hands. Six in favor, zero against. So the next bill, 2020-404 by Porterfield, Benedict and Pully amends the Metro Code of Laws regarding alcoholic beverages in open containers. May I get a motion? So moved. Second. Second. All right, thank you. And uh, discussion, would any of the sponsors uh, like to start our discussion on this, on the bill? Thank you so much, Chair. Um, this came about through a public safety uh, conversation um, when MMPD was sharing some concerns that they were having uh, with enforcement, uh, I would like to ask for a two meeting deferral on this legislation. Uh, I think that there have been some concerns about the legislation and I just wanna make sure that we have the language tightened up so that there's no unintended consequences and we wanna make sure that the intent of the legislation is, is very clear. Um, so I would ask for a two meeting deferral. Thank you, Councilman Porterfield. Uh, is there any discussion or any response uh, to that? I see Councilman Pulley's hand. Councilman Pulley? Yes, uh, two things. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Number one, I also want to uh, recognize Councilmember Benedict. Uh, uh, she really brought a lot of this discussion up during a special call meeting, the Public Safety Committee where we really, where this discussion with the police department actually ensued. I uh, also heard from uh, 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 Mr. McDonough, who's our attorney with, uh, representing the beer board. And uh, he, he certainly uh, concurs with Councilmember Porter Fields desire and wants to have this uh, deferred so that he can look at the language a little bit better. So with that, I would uh, make a motion that we defer this bill for two meetings. All right. Second. Can I? I can second. 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 <laughs> Thanks. Second. Thank you. All right. All those of anyone opposed to uh, deferring this for a two meeting deferral, please raise your electronic hand. That's Bill twenty twenty four zero four. I see no hands. Uh, so the, uh, the two meeting deferral passes, six in favor, zero against. All right, the next two bills we'll, we'll take together since they are, are related to the same thing. Bill 2020-421 by Mendez, Pulley and others amends Title 10, Title 13, Title 15, and Title 16 to permit the Nashville Fire Department, Fire Marshal's Office, Metro Public Works, Metro Water Services, and Metro Codes to enforce, enforce emergency health orders. And Bill 2024-22 by Mendez, Pulley, and others amends the Metro Code to permit the mayor to enlist Metro employees outside of the health department and MMPD to issue citations to enforce emergency health orders. May I get a motion for these two mm -hmm. bills? Or to mm -hmm. one Thank you. All right, any discussion? Um, I, I do have a letter from Councilman Mendez for approval. I do not see any hands. All right. We will move on for a vote then. Anyone opposed? to Bill 2024-21 or Bill 2024-22. Please raise your electronic hand. All right. I see no hands raised. The bills are approved. Six in favor, zero against. All right, that concludes our agenda for today. Thank you all. Nice work, Madam Chairman. Good job. Thank you, Madam Chair.